Recently, I was reading the Oklahoma Animal Disease and Diagnostic Laboratory newsletter, and in that letter, Dr. Keith Bailey, the director of the lab, stated that copper deficiency is a common finding in late-term uh, cattle abortions and stillbirths. Copper is essential mineral and it has a role in many bodily functions. When we have deficiencies, we see reproductive problems, health problems, and poor growth in cattle. Copper can be comes in two forms of deficiency. You have primary deficiency, it's when the animal is not getting adequate amount of copper in the diet. You have a secondary deficiency, which is much more common, is when other mi minerals such as sulfur or iron or molybdenum bind the copper and make it unavailable to the cattle. Now, kind of tell whether you have a deficiency, copper deficiency in your herd. According to Dr. Dave Lawman, check your records. Do you have adequate pregnancy rates and calving rates? Are you having any health problems? Uh, are your cattle growing properly or getting proper weaning rates? If all those are normal, you probably don't have a mineral problem. Uh, the second step that you might want to take is do a mineral balance review. Have your county extension educator, veterinarian, or nutritionist help you do this. And what you look at is the requirements that the, that the cattle have to have, how much copper cattle have to have, and then you look at what are you supplying, what are they getting in their forage, what are they getting in their hay, what are they getting in their feed, what are they getting from their mineral, and is that meeting their needs. If you see a problem with that, then you need to do, have your copper levels checked, and we can do this in one of two ways. We can do a blood test or we can do a liver biopsy. A blood test will actually give you the levels of copper, but we'll never see low blood levels until we've exhausted the reserve. So it may not be the best test to really give you a general understanding of what the copper levels of the herd are. And if we're going to do that, we need to do a liver biopsy. Uh, a lot of veterinarians know how to do this, and we can get a good idea of what the copper level of the herd is by doing a liver biopsy. Hey, if you have any more questions about copper, if you will go to sunup.com, dot okstate dot edu we'll leave you some information